Welcome back everyone to another Emacs org mode tutorial. I'm going to share something with you here that I think is really cool. I think you might think it's really cool too. I know you could get a lot of use out of it if you were so inclined. We're going to be setting up org mode journal keeping. So what is org mode journal keeping exactly? Well, basically using org mode as a way to keep a journal, keep a log, uh, send content with a few keystrokes to different files to quickly keep note of things or to keep different notes organized. It's really a general purpose tool that you can do a lot of things with. So let's just take a look at it here. All right, so, so why keep a journal in org mode? Well, as I said, it's an easy way to quickly keep a log of all different sorts of things, right? So if you are a, maybe a student or a writer or somebody who does a lot of uh, research. Um, for example, you could have a journal just of your reading notes. So if you're, you're reading a book and you just want to keep note of some comments and keep it all organized in one file uh, with regard to what you're reading at the time, have a reading journal. Or you could have a just a, a writing journal where you're keeping sketches, ideas, information, anything that's related to writing. And maybe a home journal, you know, just activity logging, different things that you're doing. Org mode can track all that for you. It can give you prompts, so for example, like if you want to have a, if you're tracking your, your weight or something, you know, you can hit a few keys, open up your capture template. It'll prompt you for the weight, whatever. And you can just kind of fill things in as you go. Uh, for today, though, we're going to be using a, um, a type of journaling function in in Emacs that basically will keep all of your your entries in the resulting org file uh, automatically sorted by dated headings. So they call that the date tree. So that's also very convenient. You don't have to, you know, think of how you're going to date your entries, you know, whether you want it to be in the heading or have different headings. It'll do it automatically for you so you can just add some content. All right. So our example here is not going to be giving you a complete tutorial on the, the org mode capture system. Uh, we're just going to create um, a journal called journal.org in the home directory uh, for our journal. Oh, but we're also going to have um, additionally, um, I thought we would do two journals to give you a better example of how the system works. So let's say we have one journal that's just a journal and one that is a journal just for reading notes. So we'll create a file called reading.org, and we'll capture to it with different keys. So for the regular journal, we'll capture with the J key, and for the reading journal, we'll use the R key. So you just do, you open up the org capture, hit R or J, and it'll put your entry in the right place. All right, so here's the capture template that we're going to be using. Um, and again, you can, it's just a bit of Emacs Lisp. You can put it in your init file, or if you want to have a separate Emacs Lisp file just for these types of things, that's fine. We're basically just setting the, the org capture templates variable. Um, you see here this, um, the order in which you, you put in these, these arguments is pretty simple. First, you put the, the key, um, and then a description of it. So J is for journal, R is for reading journal, and it's an entry in an org file. It's a, a file plus a date tree, as I mentioned, you know, we're going, it's going to keep track of the date for us. And uh, the journal goes to the home directory and a file called journal.org, and the reading journal goes uh, to the same directory to a file called reading.org. Um, and you can see here, this string here is basically a template um, that is going to to make up the the entry itself. Um, I put in here um, just for anyone who was curious what what some of these templates expand to. But there's many other um, ones that you can use that are in the, the documentation for the org capture system. So I just wanted to keep it simple, but show you that you can have a lot of different expanding elements that will go in there automatically. So let's just um, run this really quick. Control X E. So it looked like that worked. Um, and just for your curiosity, you do know you do not have to put the template in uh, as as a string in here itself. You can actually um, that that string can just be a 
basically a file path to a, a template file. So you can put what we have in here. Uh, you can actually just put it into a text file and that would allow you to have more complicated templates. I think it's it's easier to do it in the file than to try and put it all in in a line up here. But um, I just put that in there as uh, different people have different preferences. So you can try them both out. All right, so let's go ahead and do the, the org capture. Um, I have org capture maps, I think as most people do, to control C and then C again. So this is the little capture menu here and it's prompting us for our template key we set one up for journal so let's hit j uh, here's a journal entry right day you see that that percent a in the in the template expanded to basically a link from the the file that i'm using to to do this this demo so if we actually took over the window here um this is basically our capture template. We're, we're filling it out. We're filling it out. Do it live. When you're done doing your, your entry, control C, control C. Just you see at the bottom there, it wrote home, Chris, journal.org. It wrote that content to the file. And while we're here, let's do one for the reading journal. Control C, control C. Um, you know. Enjoying um, uh, John Milton beating Paradise Lost again. So that's the. This will go to the reading journal. Control C, Control C. There you go. It saved it to the reading.org. So now let's uh, let's let's visit one of those files. Let's see if um, good. We've got an autocomplete there. So this is actually. This is the file itself. Um, the the org slide is making these headings bigger than they normally would be, but you know that's not very important. So you can actually put a title on this. Reading journal. And you see the date tree. I guess it looks, you know, depending on how you you know you like your, your org mode organized. It is a lot, like it's a little redundant. So you know, so this level one is is the year. This level two is the month, and it has the it has the number of the month and the uh, you know the the text of the month. It's August, and now you have the date and the day of the week, which which is which is helpful. It's not as redundant, I think. Um, and then your your actual entry, and ignore my property drawer. I I have it set to automatically give a unique ID to every heading, but. Um, your your file can look a lot neater. It doesn't have to, you know, you can hide the stars. You can do a lot of other things. And of course, this little annotation goes back to the, the file we were in uh, before, but you don't have to use that in your template. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, that is the date tree there. And of course, um, th this demonstrates how you can, you know, you can use different you can use different templates for different files. We use the same one for the same file, but it's the it's the same concept, of course. And you can basically have unlimited. Uh, you can actually have captured templates that I believe map to the the same key. So, for example, if you wanted to nest all your journals under the J key, you can have it. Um, let me let me try it really quick. I believe you. Just this will be experimental. You can bear with me. I think if you put JR, it might. Yeah, so if I hit J, uh, no, okay, never mind. I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have tested that. But no, there is a way to do that. I just forgot how to do it. But you can you can program it so that you could nest all of your journals in the in the capture window under a different letter. So you can really just have. Um, an unlimited number of journals mapped to to different keys or different captures. Then not everything will be a journal. Sometimes, like if you're doing your org mode GTD, like I've showed you in other videos, you can have a capture template to capture next actions. But this one, we were just focusing on on journals because, like for for people like me who are non technical, um, you know, but you might be like a, a writer or something like a copywriter, you can or a blogger. Um, this can be valuable to you. Um, 
you know, to have to be able to quickly keep a log of ideas or notes, things you want to blog about or whatever. Um, or like, like me, I can capture different video ideas for here. So it's really helpful, but that's about it. That's how to set up a journal with org mode. So good luck. Have fun. Let me know if you have any problems. I'll see you next time.